Where's my puppy? <laughs> Morning, everybody. It's so cold. I don't want to get out of bed. It's so warm under here. <laughs> My boyfriend just took her outside, and now she's super hyper. And we always do this every morning. Whoever wakes up, takes her outside, and then throws her on top of the person that was still sleeping, and she goes crazy. As you can see, Rosie's cone's off. She's very happy about that. She's gonna get the stitches out today. My boyfriend took it off last night. Um, her leg is like completely healed. She doesn't care about it. She's not bothering with it. It's fine. We're watching her. But I'm gonna go get the stitches off today. Go see the vet for checkup. <laughs> okay, this isn't working. I'm dressed and ready now. Slight change of plans. I have to take Rosie at four to the vet. Um, I'm not sure if I totally explained what happened. So basically she has to, she had to get some teeth. I hear you. Where are you? Where are you? She can hear me, but she can't find me. Where are you? Where are you? I can't see you. Where are you? <laughs> You're crazy. Where are you? Look up! Look up! Rosie! 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 Look up! Look up! Up here! Rosie! Okay, this game's getting old. I'll just leave her running there. Okay, so anyways, before she had um, leg surgery to correct her knee placement because the tendon was falling into the center, um, and that was corrected and she had to have a pin put into her knee to hold it in place while the bone healed. And now that it's been more than two months since the surgery, the bone is completely healed so they were able to pull out the pin. So since she had a tooth infection and got a tooth removed and needed to be put under anesthesia, they just removed the pin at the same time. And they had to shave a bit of her leg, that's why it looks like that, and stitch it a bit, I think just like two stitches. So today she can finally um, remove the stitches and not wear the cone anymore. And yeah, so that is what I'm gonna go to do later. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna go do at four o'clock, just remove the stitches and check that everything's okay. So, slight change of plans, because I was gonna go do that first, but now I'm gonna do that for. Um, uh, yesterday I went shopping in 109. I wasn't planning on buying anything. I'm sorry, but if you can leave 109 without buying anything at all, then I praise you. You have extreme discipline and strength because you can always find something, whether that be an accessory, I don't know, a contact lens, shoes, clothes. There's always something good in 109. Everything's so cute and it would take all my strength and power not to buy anything. Anyways, I bought something. I bought a couple shirts and a skirt and a hat or so I thought from a store. Only when I got home, I was showing my boyfriend. Do any of you guys do this too? When you get home, you show your boyfriend what you bought. Like I always do a little fashion show. Um, I was showing him what I bought and the cap wasn't in the bag. And I really wanted that cap. I checked the bill. They didn't charge me for it, but it matches my shirt and a shirt a color that I've been liking wearing a lot recently and I really want that hat and when something's in my head I need to do it and do it now so I'm really I'm gonna go back to 109 so annoying but I have to shop again today um and find that hat and get it before it sells out because everything in Japan sells out really fast but first I'm gonna eat lunch which which is a salad my boyfriend and I both got a salad all right, I'm ready to go. I'm gonna head to Shibuya now. This is the vibes I got going on today for my outfit. This is an old sweater. You guys saw this like a year ago or something from Style Nanda. Pants from Style Nanda and shoes from Doc Martin. Still gonna wear this backpack, which I didn't even know, but if you zip it up, so if you have it, if you have it unzipped, it looks like a monster. You can zip it up and then it's just a cat. 
It's pretty cute. Maybe I'll keep it as a cat today. All right. actually behind me but I wanted to go to Starbucks first because I'm assuming their Christmas drinks are out now so I want to check out what they have going on at the Starbucks in Tokyo so and I want to grab a drink and then I'll head back there to do the shopping inside that shop. They have some amazing stuff there right now. I ended up getting four things, including the cap, so three extra things. Um, I'll show you when I get home. I'm obsessed with this one color. Now the mission is getting it home without my boyfriend seeing. I told him I was coming for one thing and I'm gonna come home with more and then I'm just gonna have to listen to him. He's just like my mom, you know, whenever I go shopping when I was living at home, I'd have to sneak everything past my mom because if she catches me, she'll go through everything and explain to me why I don't need this <laughs> and why I'm wasting my money. Um, yeah, so, and living with a guy is just like the same thing. They'll explain why I don't need to buy everything and I do need to buy everything. This color is really important to my life right now. So I will go home, maybe I should wait until he goes to work and I will sneak it into my closet. I've even come to the point one time when I was going home and I knew my mom was home waiting, I just got dressed in the change room and layered clothes so that she couldn't see what was in my bag and just put like one thing in the bag. That's what my life came to when I was living at home. Anyways, let's go. It's crazy busy in there today, so I literally just went to one store and, and got out, which is probably a lot better for my wallet, for my dad's wallet, should I say. <laughs> My boyfriend said I was really fast. That was probably the fastest I've ever been, right? I only bought one thing. It's good. Hi, home. Hi, happy girl. Hi, baby. My Amazon pantry stuff came in the other day and just want to show you. It was really fast and I really recommend it. I got everything, especially most of these are full filled with water. Which is really heavy to carry, so it's easier to get all at once. And I got some Coke Zero. I got some like ramen, instant noodle stuff my boyfriend likes to eat, which he already ate. And laundry stuff. This heavy thing. And I also got tea, which makes me realize I really need to start um, reading what the product actually is and the size and dimensions of it. Because I thought there were a bunch of smaller like teas, but I ordered like a whole box <laughs> of all these huge teas which I don't drink that much of, and I have that whole cupboard full of tea, so I really don't need this much tea. I'm covered for drinks probably for the next couple of months at least. If you come to my house, these are your options of drinks. This is my favorite sort of ready-made Japanese tea. It's really good. It's like, it's a blend of stuff. And you serve it cold. I was just cleaning up around the house, doing some laundry and everything. Um, I find sometimes you guys will ask me how I keep my home organized and clean, although now it's quite a disaster. I say that as this is in the background. But for the most part, it's usually quite organized and clean. I, I, I think anyways. My trick is to do a little something every day. I find a lot of the time you'll kind of feel discouraged or a bit lazy some days and you don't want to do anything and then before you know it, it's all piled up and your house is just a complete mess everywhere and then you just feel like you don't even know where to start and you don't even want to start. So I find if you do a little something each and every day, just find an hour or two a day to just do something, whether that be laundry or cleaning up a certain area of your house, it will help a lot and then it will save you time later instead of spending one full day. I mean, the other option a lot of people do too if they're busy is just spend a whole day like on a Sunday or something. But me especially, since I'm trying to vlog more or do more, I like to take a little time out of each day and just do something. So that something is done 
for now and oh, I just realized that it's a public holiday today and usually Rosie's vet is open from the morning like 10 a.m. till 1 and then at 1 they take a break until 4 p.m. and then it reopens from 4 till whenever so that's why I was planning to go up 4 I was gonna go in the morning but then by the time I got ready and got everything done and got lunched lunch it was like 12 something and I didn't want to be that person to arrive by the time I arrived it would be like just before one and I didn't want to like be that person to arrive just before they close and then everyone has to stay open and be late for their lunch because of me so I thought oh I'll just go at four but now I just realized and called them and they're closed now so I'll have to go tomorrow which is fine yeah I think I'm going to take Rosie to the park now and then oh let me show you what I bought so the color I'm really into right now is this burnt orange color I got this one yesterday and the cap that I wanted that they forgot was this one so it matches perfectly and you know me I love my cap so I had to go back to get this one so I grabbed that and then keeping in the color scheme sort of of today and that color I also love this color deep green because it matches my eyes well, well I mean my eyes are hazel sometimes they look more green sometimes they look more brown depending on the light but then I wear um, green circle lenses, which are just green on the outer ring. Because my eyes go green to brown, if that makes sense. So with the green on the outer ring, it keeps them more green. Anyways, so this goes good with that. And then also my favorite color on the bottom. So I grab this. I also grabbed some wide-legged pants today. Again, too short for me. You guys told me it's called... Colutes, Colutes, I forget the name, something French, Colutes, these are the pants, and I grabbed this today too, it's a red turtleneck, I'm loving red recently too, as you guys saw my boots yesterday, so I wanted to get a few more red pieces that could go with those shoes, so I grabbed this, so that is what I grabbed today. I'm back home now. I was thinking what to do since I can't go to the vet. I think I might go to see the Salvador Dali exhibition that's on now at the Tokyo National Art Center. It's only on till mid-December, so yeah, I think I'm gonna head there. giant line. Um, it's way too busy in Tokyo today. I didn't realize it's a public holiday. That's why 109 was crazy busy and here is crazy busy but we're still gonna go anyways. It's so busy! Done with the exhibition. Um, I wasn't allowed to film pretty much anything besides that last part. But it was really nice to see and it's on till the middle of December so if you're in Roppongi area and you want to check that out Everything was from around like 1950 or something so it was pretty cool to see that um, We're gonna have dinner now Oh god that's scary Here guys, here's something to haunt your nightmares tonight My boyfriend's watching this It's so freaky it's the character from Death Note. What the heck? This is what's been going on. I was wondering why my clothes kept getting thrown all over the floor. Rosie's going under here and destroying my closet. You little closet monster. Again. <laughs> Are you comfy? Should we just make this your room? Should this be Rosie's bedroom? Sweet thing. 